What I want to talk to you about today is how you'll get the money to be trained for ministry. You have a vision in your heart to be trained and to want to be prepared to be used by God, but where do you get the resources to do something like that? Well, we have a lot of experience with many students over many years, and so I'm going to share with you some of the things I've seen in people's lives, how God has provided for them and what they had to do to see that provision happen. So we're going to be talking about a few different things, but when we start right out, the very first thing we need to do is for you to write your application. Uh, you've got to think through the financial implications of your decision. You know, to have a vision is a very powerful thing. And one of the things that vision does for you is it disciplines you. Well, you say, well, how does vision discipline? Well, think of it this way. I, I remember hearing a story about a, a friend who wanted to climb Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa. And so he put into his den a, uh, uh, basically it was a, a mural of Mount Kilimanjaro, the mountain there right in front of him. And so every day when he would go into his den, he would, he would look at the wall and he would see that mountain. And he would begin to start thinking to himself, wow, if I'm going to climb a mountain like that, I'm going to need special equipment. And so he began researching the kind of equipment that he would need. And he said, wow, if I'm going to climb a mountain like that, I've got to get in better shape than I am right now. And he began to, to run and to prepare himself to climb the mountain. You see, he looked and he said, if I'm going to climb a mountain like that, I'm, I'm going to need to get ready financially to make the trip and all the things that need to happen. You see, your vision disciplines you, just like his vision disciplined him. In the same way, you have a vision. Your vision is to come and be trained for ministry at Elam Bible Institute. And with that vision, you're, there's, going to, there's going to be discipline that has to come into your situation and into your life. And that's, that's a really important part of what we're, what we're wanting to do in some of these things that we share with you. It would be great if we could just lift our hands up and say, oh, God, supply, and God would just pour in the money kind of a thing. But you have to remember that God is training you at the same time as you are uh, getting ready to go to the school. You thought that it was when you went to the school that the training started. But actually, the raising of the money for you to be able to go to school is part of your training. It's part of the faith lessons that the Lord is trying to prepare you for. So let's talk about some of the different ways that, that you can raise money for school. Now, some of you are going to be in situations where your, your families are just able to take care of this. And, and that's awesome. I mean, let's rejoice and let's thank God for that. I want you to know, even if you're in that situation, God will prepare other things for you that are going to challenge you and cause you to have to focus for you to be able to come here. But many of us that are here, we're not in a situation where things are going to be all provided. Instead, we've got to begin to believe God and to prepare how are we going to get the money together to be able to go to school. And so I'm going to share with you some of the different ways that that, that, that can happen, how you can get that money. Okay, first of all, you're going to need a summer job. Okay, right away, <laughs> that's going to limit you. No big mission trip this summer, no long vacation this summer. You're going to need to use your summer to be disciplined by your vision and to prepare to be able to go to school. You're going to be able to, uh, to, to save money during that time. You know, if you work for 12 weeks over the summer, even at minimum wage, if you're able to live at home, you could, you, you could get $2,500 probably easily just from that. And uh, so that's just a great first step, a great beginning for you to, to prepare yourself to be able to come to school. Another way that uh, many students are able to raise the money to go to school is they ask for help. Now, you would say, well, what do you, what do you mean ask for help? Well, you have to realize when you're getting trained for ministry, you, we've got to believe God to supply and we've got to believe God to use his people to supply. And so what many have done is they've done something like this. They've written like a missions letter, similar to a short-term missions trip. They've written a missions letter to maybe a hundred friends and family and invited those friends and family to help them be able to receive ministry training at Elam Bible Institute. Listen, if the believers don't stand behind the person who's going for ministry training, you can be sure of this, the government is not going to do it. So, so, uh, so they do that. Now you may think to yourself, well, I wouldn't know how to do something like that. 
that. Well, we actually have a training just exactly for that. It's called the Lift Mini Camp. And uh, when you talk to someone at admissions, they can help you to, to hear about the mini camp. And we give you the same kind of training that missionaries get that enables them to be able to raise money to do things to it. And, and many of our students will raise one to $3,000 a year from uh, getting help from others who want to stand with them. Another great benefit of doing this is you begin to build your support team. Whatever the Lord calls you to in the future, you're going to need a team of people who are going to stand behind you in prayer, in some cases stand behind you financially, and this gives you a chance to begin to build that support team by the people who stand behind you while you go to school. Okay, here's something else we can do. Talk to your parents. Right? Oh, it's really important to talk to your parents. And, and not all parents are going to be in the position to financially help you to be able to go to school. But, but parents are in a position to help us in many different ways. And so you need to talk with them about what you're facing and the challenges that are going on. And you need to ask for their help too. And, and we need to do it with a, not with a sense of entitlement, but with a sense of gratitude. Uh, anything that they can do to help and share with them your dream, share with them your hopes and, uh, and, and see how, how the, uh, they can help you in this, in this big challenge that's ahead of you. Here's something that people often forget. Talk to your pastor. You know, the prayers of your church are going to be so important for your success in the future. And so you want to take time to sit with your pastor and share the dream of ministry training. You know, most uh, Christian leaders are thrilled when a person from their church wants to go on to be uh, involved in ministry. It's encouraging and strengthening to them. And if your church gets behind you financially, Elam will double their contribution up to $500. That means that if your church will give $500 to help you, Elam will double that and, and, and make it $1,000. That's $1,000 off your bill right there, simply by your church's involvement and Elam's willingness to match that, the Elam match. And admissions will explain to you all about that too. Uh, let's look at another, another idea. Ask Elam. Well, we say, well, why would I ask Elam? Why? Because we actually have people who give money to us specifically for the purpose of helping students get uh, financial help to go to school, to be trained for ministry. And so if you ask us, especially if you put your application in early, the earlier your application comes in, the greater the likelihood there might be some money there. But if you ask us, we'll send that, that money uh, uh, as a scholarship and, and enable you to be able to come to school in that way. Here's another one, work study. What is work study? That's where you work on the campus at the school while you're at school. You can hardly find a more convenient work situation than that. You're working right there on campus. You don't need a car, anything like that. And a student can earn $1,000, up to $1,000 each semester. That's $2,000 for work study. Now, we obviously don't give work study to every single student. But if you apply early and you get in there and say, hey, look, I really would like work study, there's a great chance that we would be able to do some kind of work study for you. And wouldn't it be great? You could pick up $2,000 just in the work study while you're here going to school. Another thing that students do is they'll get jobs in the community while they're here. They'll be waiters and pick up shifts as waitresses and be able to pick up money even while they're in school to help them be able to build up for school in that way. Let me ask you another question. Would you have anything that you could sell? Anything you've collected or maybe a motorcycle or a car? You know, uh, Jesus says to us, you cannot be my disciple unless you are willing to basically lay down all your possessions. He doesn't necessarily ask us to give away all of our possessions. But when you have a vision, remember you're disciplined by your vision. When you have a vision to go for ministry training, part of that may be you saying, you know what, I can do that without this car and sell the car or, or sell the collection or sell whatever you might have so that you would be able to, to go and receive the training that God wants you to receive. And then 
maybe most importantly of all, I've saved it for last, but it easily could have been first, is praying for divine provision. That is praying for God to do something on your behalf. I'll tell you, there's something so powerful that happens when I have given my full effort to something. When I have said, I'm going to do all that I can do to make this happen, and I come to the realization that all of my effort could not get me there, but I begin to come to the Lord and trust in him, and all at once I discover that he completes the work. That is, that what I could not do humanly, he did in a very powerful way. And the fact is, when you work hard for something, that, um, that people want to get behind you. They want to stand with you. And, of course, the Lord wants to get behind you, too. You know, I heard a story one time about some guys whose ship went down at sea, and they were in a, in a rowboat out in the, in the ocean. And uh, one guy looked at the other guy and said, What should we do? Should we pray or row? Are we supposed to pray or are we supposed to row? And the other guy looked back at him and said, I think we should pray and row. We should pray and row. And that's the way this kind of thing is. When you're, when you're stepping out in faith, when you're moving forward in faith in some kind of way, you've got to pray and row. You give it everything you've got, but then God comes in and supplies what you could never supply on your own. See, one of the things you have to realize is that you are literally in training right now. That is, that as you uh, take this as a, as a challenge to your faith, as you begin to believe God for financial provision for you to be able to come and get trained, as you do that kind of thing, you are actually developing the faith muscle that's going to help you in the future because God's going to put in front of you many tasks that seem impossible, opportunities that seem greater, they, they would cause other people to shrink back. But because you saw God supply, even in these earlier days, you will have faith and you'll be able to move forward in, in great power and see, and see great things happen through your life. It's all part of the training. Now, the truth is, it will cost you to come to Elam. It's going to cost you because it's not going to all come easy it's not going to be simple. You're going to be disciplined by your vision. There are going to be things that God's going to say to you. Others can, but you cannot. You must do this now. And uh, it, there's a price tag that's there. But I want to tell you something. When you are developed spiritually and you become someone that the power of God can flow through your life and you see that power flowing through you to touch other people, when you see that happening... The rewards will be so much greater than all of the challenge and all of the battles you've had to walk through. You'll, you'll look at it and you'll say, wow, this was worth it all. There's a cost, but there's a great reward. I hope to see you at Elam this fall.